Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on conic sections. And again, I'm going to be taking up one more problem based on parabola. So let's see what problem number two has in store. Here we go. A stone is thrown from a building of 7 meter height and at its highest flight, the stone just crosses a palm tree of 14 meter height. Trace the path of the stone if the distance between the building and the tree is 3.5 meters. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how this can be done. So there is this palm tree 14 meter high and there is this building 7 meter high. And the distance between this building and this palm tree is 3.5 meters and there is someone, some guy uh, standing here on the roof of this building and trying to throw a stone, something like this, okay. And it's going to hit the ground somewhere here. And this is the track that we have to actually prepare okay on a drawing sheet now you have to use a scale for making this because the height is seven meters and it's not possible to for us to make or uh, to plot a distance of seven meters on a drawing sheet which is hardly a meter wide and hence we're going to assume that one meter is equivalent to one centimeter that's how we're going to approach this so initially let's start by making a ground line so this is the ground line okay and we're going to fit in a building Okay, just make a rectangle of any sort, but the height of this rectangle make sure is 7 meters, okay, which on a drawing sheet should be equal to 7 centimeters. All right. Now, in the next step, I'm going to fit in a palm tree. Here it is. This is the topmost part of the tree. All right. And this palm tree is actually 14 meter high. All right. So this is 14 meters, 14 meters. All right. So that's the palm tree. This is the top of the tree. And this over here is the root of the tree. All right. And this lies at a distance of 3.5 meters from the building. All right. Now there is some guy standing over here and he's trying to release a ball. He's trying to throw a ball, which just manages to um, hit the top of the tree and then uh, come back to the ground over here. Okay. Please see where the mouse is hovering this way. Exactly. Now I'm going to be making a rectangle over here, something like this. This distance is 3.5 and hence this distance over here towards the right of the tree is again going to be 3.5. So the overall breadth, or the rectangle is 7 meter wide you can say this is 3.5 plus 3.5 that is 7 this height also is 7 and inside this rectangle I'm going to be fitting in a parabola and then the track of that parabola is going to extend until it hits the ground over here so let's see how all of this stuff can be carried out so initially I'm going to kick off by drawing a line of any random length at any random angle and I'm going to be placing three points preferably one centimeter apart one two three because I'm going to be dividing this line into three equal parts. Okay. So this third point has to be joined with the end of this line over here, something like this. So please keep your mini drafters along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the second point, draw a line, first point, draw a line. So there you go. This is the point one. This is point two. The same stuff has to be repeated over to this vertical line also. So again, I'm going to be drawing a line from here of any random length at any random angle. Again, I'm going to be placing points, preferably one centimeter apart. And this third point has to be joined the, with the end of this line over here. Keep your trapdoors aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to this second point. Draw a line. First point, draw a line. Make sure that all of them are absolutely parallel to one another. So this is going to be point one dash. This is going to be point two dash. All right. The same stuff has to be repeated to which this section, this particular part of this rectangle also. Let's see how that can be done. So we have a line three points last point has to be joined with the end of this line uh, keep your drafters along this line okay tighten this group that's it that's it divide it into three parts same stuff over here draw a line at any random angle of any random length three points preferably one centimeter apart that's it there you go so that's it that's exactly what needs to be done. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how this parabola can be constructed. How can we get the points uh, of that parabola? So initially, I'm going to be joining this point two dash and one dash with this point O. That's it. Now I'm going to produce a line starting from point one in the vertically upward direction, something like this, so that it intersects this line O one dash somewhere here. Same stuff has to be repeated. And I'm going to start producing a line from point two until it reaches this O2 dash somewhere here. So these are the two points. Okay. The same stuff has to be repeated over to this side. Also, please follow the steps. This, that's it. And let us, let us try to uh, produce a line from this point in the vertical direction. That's the intersection again in the vertical direction. That's the intersection. Okay. What to do now? The job is half done. And this is how the track is. We see how the way the mouse is moving. 
that's it and it's going to come downwards so what about that path for that what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to keep one leg of my compass here other leg over here and which that much amount as the radii and again with this guy as the center i'm going to put an arc like this and then with this guy as the center i'm going to put one more arc there you go now again we have to do the same stuff but over to this side and taking this guy as the reference now keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here and with that much amount as the radii and with this guy as the center put an arc and again with this guy as the center put an arc that's it now in the next step i'm going to be joining this point over with this point and with this point and i'm going to produce these two lines further in the downward direction something like this all right now in the next step keep your draft is absolutely set in the horizontal vertical direction and bring it closer to this point and as you reach here and try to produce a line in the downward direction something like this so that it intersects it over here and then again uh, bring your draft is over to this side and try to produce a line in the vertical direction so that it intersects this sort of inclined line somewhere it's going to intersect somewhere here that's it guys and now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve please see where the mouse is hovering all these points in sequence with the help of a smooth curve and this is what we're going to achieve that's it okay so what i'm assuming is that the ball or the stone in fact is not gonna go inside the ground so i'm gonna be chopping off this portion that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them i'll be taking some more problems based on parabola construction until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing